it is very important that this river is protected in its natural state as much as possible. Kane River is actually like a trailer or an opening to Panna Tiger Reserve. It's as grand as that. So as soon as you come in from the Madla Gate, you go through a stretch, a stretch of woods, and this is where you reach. It's actually like a trailer or an opening to Panna Tiger Reserve. It's as grand as that. This is the Kane River. As you can see, it's pristine blue and the shimmering green is also there. It is a perfect landscape. Just think that this landscape supports tigers. Imagine a tiger, a bright orange tiger, walking across those rocks, going to the patch of river, swimming across a river that has crocodiles. We have witnessed a tiger in the water and a crocodile getting into the water and actually moving away from the tiger. And then, the tiger climbing onto the rocks again, going back to the water, onto the rocks again, and eventually coming out on the other side. This is the territory of the dominant tigress, and she walks across the banks, and then she reaches the central area, which is called Bagai. In fact, the dominant tigress, as we speak, is supposed to be moving around in this area. She has left her cubs right behind. That's the area where you have gorges and also where the cubs can hide and she's going on a patrol and probably on a kill also. And in fact, the last time we were here, we had a fantastic experience where she actually walked down this particular small mound or hill and came down and she crossed from behind us, going this way, climbing down. It was sunset and you had the light in the background. It was a silhouette shot. So you had the shimmering golden color water and you had the tiger going across and she went on the other side. This is an amazing habitat you can actually hear. From here, I can see a nest of grey heron. They're nesting right in the middle of the water. There are two abandoned hunting lodges across, which obviously, I mean, times have changed. And these hunting lodges have now become areas which have been taken over by the forest and by the jungle. They are in ruins right now, but it's great to see the transformation. This is the Kane River. It flows through most of Panna Tiger Reserve. It supports the ecosystem, the wildlife over here. It is very important that this river is protected in its natural state as much as possible for the wildlife here and for the people around this area. If the flow is disrupted for whatever reason, it can have a devastating effect because there are great populations of the mugger crocodile. They have a cycle, a breeding cycle. As we speak, it's June right now and it's the right time when the crocodile babies are born or they hatch out of their eggs. And anything, any kind of project or, or anything disturbing this natural balance or then disturbing the river or its seasonal flow could disturb the wildlife here. This is something which we really need to work towards. Just behind us is a fantastic area called Judy which is cool throughout the year with water. In fact, the dominant tigress hangs around here very often. Beyond this, we reach Panna Seha. Panna Seha is where the original matriarch of Panna, T1, has been seen with her various litters. And when the water falls into the gorge, the gorge is almost a certain spot to have presence of leopards and also the resident tiger. From there, the water flows into the Kane River. Once you go into the river, you take the boat. It has a magic of its own. Sometimes tigers walk along the river banks and leopards come down for a drink, crocodiles and so much more biodiversity. It is amazing to see this river ecosystem support so much biodiversity. Much of the wildlife here 
sambar deer, spotted deer, langur, come down to the Kane River to quench their thirst. If the flow is disrupted for whatever reason, it can have a devastating effect. <laughs>